This is gonna be a bit of a unusual BTS vlog. Let's give you the time and date stamp. It is 17 hours into the day of Saturday, December 28th. And this is the BTS vlog that's gonna cover uh, December 24th to December 30th. <laughs> <coughs> and I'm going to be moving very slowly because basically things were going very well on the 24th of December and I was anxious to sort of get ahead on my work and I was working on a project and what typically happens when I work obsessively on a product and that happens to a certain degree this is where my sleep disappears to I forgot to eat when you forget to eat as I mentioned before when you stop eating your energy, le energy levels drop off very quickly and it's hard to bring them back up again it takes you a while in terms of you can't just eat it all back at once. <laughs> that just makes the problem worse. <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> um, December 25th, about 8 o'clock in the morning. I began to uh, shiver uncontrollably. My body was just completely frozen from what I felt. And I couldn't hold the temperature as, as normal. And I started shivering. I assumed that something had happened to my heating system. And that the temperature had something, somehow just immediately dropped to uh, uh, below zero. So I looked at the thermometer and I looked at the heating system to make sure that the heating system was working. Look back at the thermometer again and it still read the standard temperature of 62 degrees. That's the normal temperature that I have it at. And it was normal. What I realized was happening is that my body from not eating had run out of the food it needed to keep my body warm. And when I'm working here sometimes, when I'm working on something very intent, Rather than sitting back, I'm actually sitting forward with my uh, my, my leg shake. Basically, uh, it's like I'm on my, um, uh, it's like I'm uh, running to some place. So the anxiety, the adrenaline is there throughout that whole period of time when I'm working on something. And what it was was basically a massive exhaustion collapse. And basically, I've more or less been in bed since then. I've been on a regular routine <coughs> of hydration and refueling. Things are starting to get better. But uh, <coughs> it's going to take a little, a little while longer. And the important thing, well, one of the important things is that. Um, my second anniversary is coming up on YouTube. Uh, December 31st, January 1st is when I started uh, two years ago. So this is going to be my second anniversary. <laughs> going to be finishing my second year on YouTube. And, you know, I'm happy where things are going right now. I'm getting, I'm moving slowly towards the 110 subscriber mark. So that's, I'm happy for that. The number of number of followers that I'm I'm getting on YouTube uh, on on um, from Google Plus is increasing. I haven't checked where that is lately, but uh, I think it's in the 80s. So you know things are going well. They they are progressing, and then that was the problem. This the things are going well, and I wanted to keep it up. I wanted to push forward, and unfortunately, I pushed too hard. So. Uh, I will try now that I'm up more functional than I was before. This is my first day of, of some degree of functionality. 
I will try to uh, vlog uh, the remainder of my collapse, my uh, sleep deprivation collapse and crash. Alrighty, I will see you next time I'm in my wake state. Time for a bit of an update. Uh, let me give you the time and date stamp. It's six hours and two minutes into the day of Sunday, December 29th, 2013. Mm. And I'm doing this now at a bizarre particular time. Uh, because I kind of really don't have, I didn't really have any idea what day, time and day it was. And I can't remember the last time I vlogged, but I'm here anyways. And I think I'm going to have something to eat and something to drink. Because my body seems a little parched, so. Uh, that could be a signal of dehydration and uh, <coughs> in recovery mode that's not a good idea so uh, that's what the plan is now um, after that is uh, definitely back to bed and then we'll see what I can get done in these wake periods on getting the BTS vlogs back into a working order again. And, uh, this probably won't reach you in time in terms of getting up. But if it does, Happy New Year. If it doesn't, if it's after New Year's, I got this up. Uh, happy New Year. <laughs> Store I missed it, and it is now my. I've now completed my second year of university, second year of youth of uh, uh, YouTube. I'm going to my third now. 2014 is going to be my my third year on YouTube. Yay! <coughs> uh, all right. I'll talk to you a bit later. There we go. A little bit of a problem starting. Anyways, let's get their time and date stamp together and then uh, we'll go from there on out. It is 12 hours and 37 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, January 1st, 2014. That's right. We've uh, broken into the new year, but this vlog is going to sort of finish up the... Uh, the old year is going to cover the last remaining, the last few days of uh, <coughs> of uh, 2013. So that's kind of the way things go. Is that we're, we're um um this is my first period, really uh, uh, a prolonged period of being out of bed, uh, where I'm awake, and so with the new system and this is called align and realign that. Uh, uh, the new uh, alignment really allows me to move ahead very quickly uh, to clear up a lot of the backlog. That's what's sort of going on now. Uh, anyways, uh, as I said before, sometime on the 25th, like I said, around eight, about 8 o'clock in the morning, I just, I had forgotten to eat that on, on, that, on the 24th. I forgot to eat. That's basically the whole thing. I forgot to eat on the 24th. Uh, so come the 25th, around 8 o'clock in the morning, I start shivering shivering uncontrollably. That puts me uh, to bed and begins uh, the uh, sleep deprivation crash. Basically, since then, 
Uh, it's been nothing but uh, more or less sleep. And what you have to do is you have to get up. You have to have something to eat. You have to have something to drink. Another words for your fuel, fuel and hydration. And it's back to bed again. And I did this uh, over a longer period of time than I did last time. So in terms of the the length of the crash, it's, it was a much more pronounced, much more prolonged crash than the previous crash. I think the previous crash was was even like less than a month ago. Uh, but this was a more significant crash, and I think partially part because I allowed it to sort of not really allow, but you know, gave myself the time necessary to uh, deal with the fact that I had to rebuild uh, my capacity to eat. And I talked about, about this before about when the body crashes sometimes. Uh, and this is sort of the indication of the shivering. And the shivering wasn't that the temperature had changed in here. It was, as I forgot to eat, my body ran out of food to be able to regulate the temperature, sort of keep my body warm. And that's what the, that's what the, the that's what the, the shivering was. The shivering was my body. Sort of just at, at that point in time, there was no more fuel in the system. Uh, it was literally empty, and my body now started to the, the temperature of the body started to sort of cool off, and that's when I started f feeling the freezing, the, the you know the temperature of being cold as, as my body really started to cool off because there was just literally no fuel left to. Uh, Sort of heat the system. This is where you gotta, you know, uh, you gotta really sort of balance your diet out. Sometimes uh, I know sometimes you don't want to, you, you know, everyone's concerned about carbs, but carbs are important. Carbs are, uh, are a nece necessary part of the diet. It's just what happens if, if you have too many carbs. That's when things get uh, problematic. Become become problematic and causes you if if you're not burning off enough uh, energy in other words you're not using enough of the carbohydrates for fuel to heat the body and to sort of build the body up again then what ends up happening is that excess is then stored as fat and that's what sort of say we don't want to get overweight uh, but at the same time if you don't have enough carbohydrates in your system and there's two factors the carbohydrates. Carbohydrates do uh, assist in the processing of proteins and other materials within the digestive system. So if your body is underserved with uh, carbohydrates, the proteins that you have to, to digest, can that, that process, the process of, of digesting the proteins can actually damage the body. <coughs> So, these are sort of things to consider as you know, as you weigh you know weigh out your uh, the amount of carbohydrate carbohydrates that you're going to have or not going to have. Uh, but on top of that, this is sort of while I was going through the crash, that's when the uh, ice storm for Toronto hit. Uh, it was a, it was a huge storm. So it actually gave me a couple more days to sort of, uh, of relax and not actually do anything because uh, Toronto just really wasn't moving anywhere. And so just basically uh, yesterday, I was able to get out, go to my parents' house. Uh, I did some I did some shopping on Monday and Tuesday. Monday and Tuesday I did some shopping. Uh, Monday was primarily a food shopping day. And then Tuesday, I finished up all the Christmas shopping that I had to do. Uh, for those of you uh, who, uh, who don't know or sort of haven't watched the other videos, is that I celebrate uh, Christmas for just about two months. There is the old, there, there is the new Christmas on the 25th of December, and then uh, there is the old Christmas. That's where I really celebrate Christmas on, on the old Christmas. Uh, at old Christmas and on January 7th, that's when I celebrate Christmas. And that's where what we're heading towards. We're heading towards the old Christmas. And uh, that's where most of my family uh, does celebrate there. And you um, buy, uh, sort of buy my presents for that. Uh, I got everything I needed to do on, done on yesterday. 
but that kind of pushed me out of my um, my sleep zone in terms of how much time I had awake and how much time I had to sort of uh, push my push my, push my energy barriers. I still have to deal with uh, a, an energy deficit today, uh, so I don't know how much longer I'm going to be awake for. But so far, so good. Uh, and uh, I think I have uh, two more segments left to do, and then uh, we'll be all done here. Anyways, I'm going to leave this here for now. I'm not going to finish this segment because I still have a few more things left to do, left to say on here. So we've just done the second segment. We have two more segments left to do. And then we'll be done uh, for the... the uh, the, the vlogs for December 24th to the 31st. In other words, that whole span will be covered. Anyways, see you in a bit. Well, we're back again. Uh, I'm going to try to sort of finish up this um, these last few segments here. There's two segments left to do. And then uh, on to the New Year's vlog. So... It's uh, give the time and date stamp. It's uh, 13 hours and 57 minutes into the day of uh, Wednesday, January 1st, 2014. And yeah, it's our second uh, second uh, second anniversary on YouTube. So yay for that! I said we're 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 uh, heading towards the uh, 110 mark in terms of our subscriber base. Uh, so um, uh, things are, are are going well. Uh, from my perspective, anyway, I don't expect this channel and these shows to be popular. Uh, I don't think that uh, th this is a, a lot of people's cup of tea. But then again, that doesn't really matter. Uh, I'm going to do what I'm going to do anyways and uh, go from there on out. What has been happening is that uh, when you're doing work at the desk here, the research desk, is a, a constant sort of... Uh, uh, a, a sort of a repetitive step of alignment and then realignment. Uh, as you do one set of configurations and, and to see if something works here or how it works in terms of the uh, its overall capacity to improve uh, the way the desk functions. If the reconfiguration is successful, you keep it as such. But more often than not, you, you'll get something, but you'll end up having to go back and reconfigure it again anyways. Because you won't look for something else. In other words, uh, you could, you progressively move the configuration and reconfiguration forward, so that the functionality of the desk reaches its op optimum. In other words, you're trying towards that optimum. The optimum is never really fully reached. You can only approach it. And that's kind of what's going on here. I've got a new uh, alignment of the desk. Uh, what you'll see is is, is with the uh, with the uh, the Insta vlogs. You'll see uh, not the Insta vlogs, the uh, the YouTube stroll. That the YouTube stroll is now split between two different channels. The reason being is that the workload to do the uh, YouTube stroll, to do the uh, Insta vlog research notes, to do the research notes uh, requires. A distribution uh, across two channels rather than one channel uh, for mechanism person. There, there's, there's a there is a functionality of having a instead of having one channel and having everything done on one channel, you need to have the two channels to balance out uh, the amount of work that needs to get done. Uh, Lost my train of thought. Let me see if I can get it back again. In other words, what, what I'm trying to do is I'm trying... You, you can't get all the work done effectively and efficiently with one channel. You need more than one channel. And this is what sort of been playing... Began to play out near the end of the last few days of 2013. It's now going to start accelerating further. You'll start seeing this spreading out of the research across multiple channels. In order to make the research... Uh, one more efficient, but two, to provide a greater capacity for research as well, because that your functionality 
not only provides the, ca the, the capability to do research, but provides a capacity to them how much research can get done. And that's kind of... <coughs> <coughs> where we want to be heading. We, <coughs> we want to be heading towards an improved uh, outcome and an improved output to the research because that's that's basically what we do here. We are a research channel, and it's not that we're, we're simply presenting research. I'm uh, presenting research. I am a researcher. I'm a scientist, and I'm showing you behind the scenes that in, uh, the research that goes on that basically you don't see anywhere else. In other words, well. In most uh, channels like PBS and, and Discovery, you see an end product of the science that was done and how amazing it is. You never actually see the work that goes into it, the day-to-day -day work, the, the long hours, sometimes the tedium, is never really fully brought out uh, when, you're doing, when you're watching these TV programs. Now, PBS has, always, uh, has been... And previously, uh, I would say they're not anymore, but they had been uh, <coughs> the example to follow for documentaries. That changed with Discovery. When Discovery Channel came out, there was less attention to uh, the substance and more attention to, towards the spectacular. In other words, towards the entertainment became more important. And the actual uh, content, the amount of information in, in, uh, in the documentary started to sort of fall off. And you had in many of these uh, documentaries that were put out by these uh, quote-unquote infotainment channels, these uh, channels like uh, History Channels and a &E and all these other places, uh, they're content wasn't really there. They were very spectacular. They were very fancy. They got the 3D fly. But they had three-dimensional graphics in there. They had a lot of bells and whistles, whistles that um, standard document documentaries at the t uh, at b before before then that were on PBS didn't have. The standard PBS documentary that was prior to the entertainment industry were more along the lines of discussions. They were uh, I really call it bookish, if you will, where there wasn't a lot of excitement and flash in it. Uh, the change that came about was the reenactments and the use of <coughs> sound editing to create a more exciting background environment. And as that happened, the the attention to detail, the attention to the specifics of the uh, of, of what you were talking about and the topic were lost. So now you have something that's rather superficial. Anyways, we've got one more segment left to do, and I think we'll spend that on uh, production schedules. And yeah, I'll come back in a bit. My my throat is getting a bit parched. Parched. Uh, that's one of the issues with. Uh, this problem in recovery is that my throat gets very dry and coughing occurs and have to hydrate again. <clears throat> yeah, it's about uh, 3.30 in the afternoon, so it's time to get to the last segment of the BTS vlog that covers uh, uh, December 24th to the 31st. <sighs> Keeping up and main, making sure that uh, your episodes that go up have the right amount of time in them is a time-consuming thing. It is not always an easy thing to do because you got to find topics to talk about. And this often causes problems. So uh, let's get on with the uh, time and date stint for this vlog. It's, uh, it's uh, 15 hours and 36 minutes into the day of Wednesday, January 1st, 2014. <sighs> and so keeping up with the amount of information that you want to sort of put into things 
is not always an easy thing to do. There's a lot of stuff to research. There's a lot of stuff to talk about. Uh, but putting together the, the making sure that your production schedule, your editing, your editing work, doesn't actually slow you up. That's kind of uh, where the issues sort of fall apart. Fall apart. It's easy to talk and come out and do something like this. The difficult part is uh, right now the uh, the roadblock, the uh, the blockage is uh, with the uh, editing bay, with the uh, editing uh, and making sure the stuff works out all right. So the question is, well, how do you do? How do you change that? How do you sort of uh, push that forward? And the way I've done it is to sort of realign the network a little bit, so that a large chunk of the editing work can get done while other bits and pieces are getting uh, uh, well other things that also need to get done that are done at the same time. In other words, you're extending the uh, uh, capacity of the network to do multitasking. You're, you're extending it to the so that you can get all the different aspects of the video production that you need to get done done while at the same time still maintaining the capacity to do the research. See, before it was push the capacity for research, and then once you're done working on the capacity for research, you shut that down and work on the uh, on the capacity uh, for uh, video production, for f to produce the shows for um, uh, Cyborg Alpha TV, and the two had to sort of had to share the same space. So one one couldn't work simultaneously while the other one was while the other one was working. Now with the realignment of the network, with the realignment of the research desk, uh, both video production and research can get done at the exact same time, and this sort of smooths out a large chunk of the uh, uh, the production issues. Production issues. Uh, that, that sort of slowed up uh, uh, things to begin with. So the next goal right now is um, to do the January first blog to keep things these things going on a regular basis. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to end this quickly here. I'm going to end this uh, segment here and say good day. And I will be back in a few hours after I get some rest uh, to do the uh, the to do the uh, BTS log for January first and January second because the way it works out is it's still going to be over the day over the, over two days you know one or two you know like that and we'll see if we can get things done on a um, on a, on a daily basis but although what's going to happen is that. It's going to be the weekend vlog coming soon. So the weekend vlog is, is still going to be a four-day week, and that's not going to be uh, daily. And then uh, I have to see what's going to happen on the 6th and 7th, which is Monday and Tuesday, because that's Christmas. So uh, I'll figure out how things go, and I'll see uh, what else can be put up in terms of uh, the production work. Anyways, that's it for now. I will see you in a couple hours to open up the BTS logs for uh, uh, December, January 1st and January 2nd. Happy New Year. Democratic Earth. Earth.